Hi, in this video, we're going to solve a problem which appeared in JE Advance 2020. So let's understand the problem statement. It says that we have an engineer and he needs to visit the factory in four days, exactly four days, during first 15 days in a month. Okay, so first 15 days. Now, it is mandatory that no two visit take place on consecutive days. Okay, simple. Now we have to find that how many uh, days uh, he uh, he can visit the factory from 1 to 15. So it is the first 15 days of a month. So that condition became meaningless. Let's go ahead and solve it. So now, now uh, number of days from 1st June to 15 June is 15 and this is the first 15 days of a month. So uh, we don't have that condition that will uh, go ahead in first 15 days. That became meaningless in this problem. Okay, let's go ahead. So now. The engineer will travel only four days. So remaining uh, 11 days, right? He will not visit the place, right? That's the basic thing. And no two visit are consecutive. So that's the given information. So here, right? First, we go ahead and select those days which where he don't visit to the factory. So here, go ahead and consider this 11 days by cross. That, that means these days he should not be there in the factory. So now let's consider this 11 uh, date, right? So these are actually particular dates, okay? That's it. Now let us consider the gaps because if the person, right, visit in the in this uh, gap days, right? Suppose he uh, choose the visit in this one, then this days, and then this days, then maybe and that days in the gap, okay? So then, right, obviously, 11 plus 4 days, 15 days will be satisfied and see that no two visits are consecutive. So therefore, we selected if the, if the engineer choose to visit uh, or choose to select the four days, right, in between these gaps, right, so then the condition is satisfied. So how many gaps are there? So see that between 11 cross or uh, we have 12 res respective gaps, right? So therefore, if the engineer can visit or select that four day out of these 12 gaps, right? So therefore, no two visit are consecutive. So therefore, the possible uh, ways the, he can select the visit that is 12C4. Now we need to calculate the value of 12C4. Let's go ahead and use the basic definition of C in CR. So it will be factorial 12 divided by factorial 4 and factorial 8. Let's go ahead. Factorial 12 can be rewritten as, right, 12 into 11 into 10, 9 factorial 8, and 4 factorial 4, 4, 3, 2, 1. See that 8, 8 get cancelled. 4 and 3 cancel the 12. 2 and uh, 10 get cancelled and give us 5. So therefore, possible arrangement will be 11 into 5 into 9, which gives us 55 into 9, 495. And that's it. So therefore, the person visit or the engineer should visit or may visit that place in 495 different ways and that's it hope you understood the problem thank you